is going to be a uh, follow me around Friday video, I guess. I'm just kind of testing this out to see whether or not I like it. Um, yeah, I don't know about driving and filming at the same time. Could be dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, and um, let's see. Yeah, this, this could be kind of weird. If I see any cops or anything, I'm sure I would get pulled over for this. But I just wanted to um, do this because I figured I would give you uh, a little glimpse into the area that I live in. I live in Massachusetts, and um, obviously I'm not going to say exactly where in Massachusetts, but um, it's... Uh, the, the area that I live in is, I guess it would be considered a small city, um, yeah. And then we're gonna go one town over to do a little shopping, just the next town over, which is not a city, it's, I know, that's kind of strange, isn't it? I live in a city, and yet I have to go to the suburbs to get to the stores. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, I know, but that's just how things are around here. <laughs> you're not getting, you're not getting the greatest footage, I know. Um, you know what? I'm gonna pull the, pull the camera back here, and uh, you can, uh, that way you can see. Wait a minute, I gotta switch hands. This is, this is gonna take some practice, I think. Now, um, yeah, I wanted to show you that I finally got around to using that um, hidden treasure polish, and I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up that great in this type of lighting. But um, what I used was the OPI Dutch Tulips, which, in case you don't know, is um, like a cream uh, classic red color. And then I put the hidden treasure over it, and I, yeah, I don't think the camera is, is picking up what the hidden treasure is doing to that polish, but basically from what I understand, um, the hidden treasure is, is like a glitter polish in a clear coat, and depending on what polish you put it on, um, the glitter is going to show up a different color, which is kind of fun. Um, and yeah, that that giveaway that I'm having, for anybody that didn't happen to see that other video, I am giving away a bottle of it. And uh, for those of you that don't know, it's very, very difficult to find. So, um, yeah, highly coveted, highly coveted nail polish. Oh, this is, this, this, this uh, intersection here is starting to get a little busy. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really nice outside today. It's 82 degrees and um, just beautiful, beautiful day. I think my husband and I are going to go to the beach again. We went last weekend and um, so we'll probably be going to the beach again tomorrow. I I live in Massachusetts, which is on the ocean, but yet I don't live right on the coast. So depending on whereabouts, we go to um, Cape Cod to go to the beach. And depending on where we go, which beach we go to, it takes um, anywhere from an hour, um, Let's see, I would say an hour and a quarter would be the, the shortest, and then it, you could go up to two and a half hours depending on which beach you went to. And, um, so, oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys about um, that self-tanner, the L'Oreal. When I first started using it, I thought it was like the greatest thing in the world, but 
now that I've been using a little bit of it every day, I'm finding out that um, I am getting a certain amount of uh, streaking and it tends to cluster in certain areas more than others. So, but you know, I think that would probably be the case with any self tanner is it's hard to, um, it's hard to get a nice even coat, but oh my God, it went on so beautiful that first day. And now I'm getting some streaks here and there. And the other thing that I didn't tell you about that um, tanner is that when you go out in the sun, it has like little sparkles in it, which is, oh, I, I just love that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous when the sun hits it, you like shimmer. Sort of like for anybody that's really into the um, Twilight, series the way Edward is supposed to shimmer in the sun okay now I gotta pay attention here for just a second while I'm turning in here because this this is not as easy as it looks you know I see people do these videos and um, it's not not that easy so I have to make a couple stops today at a couple different stores so yeah I do like the L'Oreal um, tanner but um, I don't know I mean now that I'm using it I kind of have to continue with it because oh boy I don't know so you know when I every time I drive around I see people do the stupidest things, you know? <laughs> it sort of makes you not even want to leave the house sometimes. But boy, this, this would be one good thing about filming while you're driving, right? You could get the whole thing on tape of all the, the stupid things that people do. I'm going to lower the camera here because I don't want people to know that I'm filming and I got people walking right in front of me. So let's see, what was the other thing I was going to tell you about? So I told you about the Hidden Treasure, the L'Oreal Self Tanner, and um, let's see, I think there was something else, but I can't remember what it was. Um, oh, the... Um, I know what it was. It was the uh, the Laguna Nars Laguna bronzer. Yeah, I really like that, and um, it's a little more brown than the NYC Sunny is. The NYC Sunny is more like golden, and the Nars Laguna is browner. But now that I'm getting more and more tan, because my husband and I go down to the pool every night, um, the uh, brown isn't gonna really be a problem because I'm uh, getting more tan. Although, <laughs> you sure can't tell by looking at my legs in this video. But yeah, it's, it doesn't really show up. I guess brown compared to what I used to be. Um, oh, I know what the other thing was I wanted to tell you and I gotta talk fast because the, uh, the time is almost up here. The Clinique Black Honey Lipstick Oh my god, I love it so much. As a matter of fact, let me flip the camera around and show you. I have it on right now, and I love the color. I love the way it feels on my lips. It's like a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss, but it's not sticky. And oh my god, I know I'm going to be wearing this a lot, so I would definitely recommend the Clinique Black Honey Almost There Lipstick. Alright, well I gotta go do my errands now. I'll see ya.